Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here. The official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 297. And today is our lesson number 191. Here's the problem, problem number 8. Please turn to the page 297 and read the problem to yourself. It says how many three digits positive numbers, how many three digit positive integers, it has to be whole numbers, how many three digit positive integers are odd, that's first condition we have to fulfill, that it has to be an odd one, and, and that it does not have five as one of its digits. The simplest and the easiest way to tackle that problem, tackle this problem is first of all to list all the possible digits and of course there are 10 of them. There are 10 of them because we, these are the possible digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and what's the 10th digit? Obviously not 10, that's not a digit, that's a 2 digit number. The 0, 0 is a digit obviously. So there are 10 possible digits and we have a 3 digit integer. We have a 3 digit integer right here is a 100 digit, this is our 10 digit, this is our unit digit. And we know that unit digit, unit digit has to be an odd one, has to be, has to be odd. Why? Because we are told that it's an odd integer. It says how many three digit positive integers are odd. In order for a three digit number to be, uh, to be an odd number, it cannot be 386. It can be 385 or 873, but it cannot be 874. The unit digit has to be an odd number. Has to be an odd number. Which means we can have 1 in the unit digit, it can end in a 1, or it can end in a 3, or it can end in a 5, or it can end in a 7, or it can end in a 9. That fulfills the first requirement that the, that the integer has to be an odd one. The second conditions that we have is that this entire this entire number, this entire three digit integer cannot have five. Cannot have five. No fives are allowed anywhere. We can't have a five here or here or here. Fives are not allowed. Which means there are only two ways, which means oh, sorry, which means that there are only four ways. There are only four ways to fill this last spot. There are only four ways. Let's find out how many ways we can fill up this spot. This spot, second spot, the 10 digit, 10 digit has absolutely no restriction other than the fact that you can't have 5. Which means we can have any of these 9, integer, nine digits here in, in, in the unit 1, but we can't have 5. Which means there are 9 ways we can fill it. Any of these 9 will come. By the time we get to the 100 digit, we have to keep, we have to, we have to keep track of one more, one more concept here, is the fact that you cannot have a zero. There is no zero in, in the hundred digit. For example, for example, you cannot have zero seven three. We cannot call that a three digit integer. That's not a three digit integer. That's just seventy three. This is not a four digit integer. It's, it's still a two digit integer. It's just seventy three. It's taking zeros to the, to the left of it. Does not count that as a three digit or four digit or five digit integer. It's still seventy three. It's just it's still two digit uh, two digit integer. You know, how many digits do you see in this number? It's just one, it's got only one digit. Or three, it's just three, it's just one digit number. It's taking zeros in front of it, and not going to count as digits. Similarly, because it's a three digit int integer, we can't have 58 as a, as a, we can't count 58 as a three digit integer by sticking a zero in front of it. No sir, we can't do that. Which means we can't have zero, and we can't have five. No zeros, no fives. No zero and no 5. Here we can have, can't have 0, can't have 0, and can't have 5. Other than that we are all set. Other than that there are no other restrictions which means, which means out of the, out of the 8, out of the, out of the 9 digits that you see there we put here, for the 100 digit we only have 8, 8 choices. That's it, that's our answer, we're done.
the answer is 8 times 9 times 4, whatever that happens to be. 8 times 9 times 4. Well, I know that, uh, I don't know what 8 9s are, but I know that 8 tens are 80, or 10 eights. If you have 10 eights, that's 80. I know that for a fact. Therefore, if you only had 9 eights, you just take 8 away from 80, that leaves you with 72. So 8 9 is a 72. So this basically boils down to 72 times 4, and the rest is very easy to figure out. 2 times 4 is 8, and, or rather 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 7 is 28. Voila, that's it, that's our answer. 200, there are 200, in other words, there are 288 such integers, 3 digit integers that is, there are 288 3 digit positive integers, which do not contain 5 anywhere, and are odd integers. There are 288 of them. That's all. Of course, they could have they could have uh, answered this question uh, in a two or three different ways in the exam. There are there are there are uh, one other way they could have asked you is in terms of probability. They could have asked you what are the odds. Listen very carefully. What are the odds that if you were to pick one one three digit positive three digit integers at random? What are the odds that if you were to pick one three digit positive integer at random, that it will not have 5 in it and that it will be an odd integer or they could say or that it can or it is not an even integer which is saying it's an odd integer so one more time here's the question same exact question I'm going to phrase it a little bit differently what are the odds that if one were to pick a three digit, three digit positive integer at random what are the odds that that particular digit will not have 5 in it and will not be an even integer which is same as saying it's odd, and the odds are, and the, in that case, then you'll say that the odds are, because we are expressing this thing in terms of odds, there are 288 of them, out of how many? How many three-digit integers are there? Ah, this is getting complicated. How many three-digit integers are there? You can have nine in the first one, you can have nine, oh, sorry, you can have ten in the first one, you can have ten in the second one, because it's zero through ten, and you can have nine, you can have nine, oh, this is actually more interesting than I thought. This is actually more interesting than I thought. Let's do it here. I'm going to put it here. What are the odds that if one were to if one were to pick a three-digit positive integer at random? that it will, or two conditions, that, that it will not have 5 in any of the digits, I'm not going to write all of that, or, or not or rather, and, and that it will not be even. That's an interesting question. It's interesting because there is a tendency for people to immediately think that there is going to be 999 uh, three-digit integers because they just go from one through nine hundred, one through uh, one through 999. Well, let's find out how many are there. What they forget is that from if you go from one through 99, let's find out here. You can have ten in ten digits in the in the unit digit. You can have ten in the in the ten digit, and then you can only have nine in the hundred digits. You can only have nine in the hundred digits. So there are not nine hundred and ninety-nine. That's not correct because they just go nine. To, they just go one through ninety-nine in a hurry, and they would say there are nine hundred and ninety-nine. But they forget the fact that of those nine hundred and ninety-nine. The first 99 are only two-digit integers. The three-digit story does not start from uh, does three-digit story does not start until 100. You can't count the first 99. So you can't simply go one through 99 being a three-digit integer. Okay. So it is possible in a hurry. So there are 900 of them. So here the answer would be 200, 288 divided by 900. 
whatever that works out to be, which is approximately, which is approximately one third. But anyway, that would have been the answer. Whatever that comes out to be exactly 288 divided by 900. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.